Uh, no, I, I know when I talk to somebody else, it's just like, uh, <laughs> it's just going on with the nails. Because um, I was going to ask you what you thought about the whole Louis C.K. thing. Um, uh, X has got an opinion, but I want to hear yours first. Um, and I'll tell you mine opinion, too. Yeah. Okay, well, my opinion is if a woman is not like giving you signs that she wants you to make advances, then don't fucking make advances. Oh, no, no, not that. Not that. He was jerking off in front oh, of women. Jerking off in front of women? No, no, that, that's <laughs> that. Uh, we all agree uh, that. What you all agree it was wrong. Now? He joked about, he joked about uh, uh, gender neutral people. Wow. And it wasn't a great joke, but does he have the right to joke about it? I'd say yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People have gotten so so far left PC that it got us Donald Trump. Right. And that's yeah. that's what we have to understand as liberals is that it it gave us him. Yeah. You know, so we have to get a sense of humor about ourselves and. Frankly, I make fun of the gender non-conforming, too. Well, basically what he says... I go in there and tell yeah. him, pick a side. You're right. not that, you don't have to be extra special gay that you're yeah. non-conforming. You're one or the other. You know what you... Anyway. Oh, are you? Because I got a joke in my act about, uh, and I don't know, it's... I'm working on it, but bisexuals, they're so vanilla now. Nobody's wow. bisexual. Everybody's pansexual now. Pansexuals laugh at bisexuals now. <laughs> but Louis C.K., his joke was... The, the, the pronouns, are, mm-hmm. they're like, the pronouns are th- they and their, and, you know, he's like, uh, they, it's plural. yeah, no, it wasn't that it's plural, it's like, right. he, he's like, uh, he's like, yeah, I, I've made up my pronoun, my, my, I forget it was, but he's like, yeah, my pronoun is this, it, it, and it's up your mother's ass or something, it's a bad joke, but I, I the premise was actually interesting, yeah but does he have a right, the right to do it, but he's like, oh, Absolutely. how dare you do that? Absolutely, I, I still think Kathy Griffin had the right to hold the bloody head of Trump. Agreed, I did too. Right. Wait, she's got the she's got the right, but uh, is it funny? To some people, yeah. Not to everyone, but to some people. I don't think it's as clever as coming out of the wall. No, like, it was like, not as you know. original. That was artistic. And clever as that. Yes, yes. That was art. But what she did was a joke, right? Yeah. And it was maybe it fell on bad taste and it hit a lot of people wrong because it was the president of the United States. Mm-hmm. Well, not just... But let's be real. Well, not, if we were talking about the apprentice Donald Trump, everyone would have fucking laughed mm-hmm. at that. Joke. Not necessarily because I, it has nothing to do with Trump. Uh, I think, it, uh, you know, you got to think about the people that, the reporters that were actually beheaded in ISIS. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, more than Donald Trump. Donald Trump's yeah. the president. He's he's up for ridicule. He's up for mm-hmm. satire. But yeah. when you think of people that actually had their head, bloody heads yeah. shown on TV you're and right. you're doing that, to me, I, I, honestly, I thought it crossed the line. I didn't, I didn't like did. it. She did. I didn't like it. And I don't like Trump, but I don't uh-huh. like that. If somebody did that to Obama, you would not like it. Yeah, but you see, this is what needs to happen more in America is people sitting around talking with different opinions and yeah. viewpoints of it and not being mad or saying, well, exactly. how dare you? You know, I mean, that's... Well, I've told everybody that like, was like, oh, that's great, uh, the Kathy Griffin thing. If she did that to Obama, you'd think she was the biggest racist in the world. Yeah, she would have immediately been called out for that. Right, and so... But yet, Teflon Don, nothing sticks. Well, no, that's a whole uh, that's a whole other thing. What did stick is the wall, and I'm going to get back to yeah. before 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 uh, Jill starts filing her toenails now. Because uh, <laughs> I, okay. I know because she, no, she you're filing your fingernails, but you then no, you put your feet out. <laughs> oh wait a second, are you engaged? What's going on? And stuff and, mm-hmm. and the head lotion gets inside the ring. Yeah. yeah. Are you and married now? What's going on? Do you, do... I always leave something on the floor so I can. <laughs> Use it to scrap them. Yeah, and stuff yeah out, I do that know, too with my kind of meditation. Yes, I, I understand. Come for me to really... So, so if you want to meditate during the show, audience, please. <laughs> now, uh, is that a wedding ring? What's going on? Are you engaged now, or what's what's up? What, what... That's that's my grandma's ring. Oh, okay. I think I asked you that before. Anyway, so uh, back to the back. To... <laughs> back... And you will ask. Again, I, I know, I know, I, I don't, I don't pay. Them. What's that? What's that? I'm just picking on you. I know. Hannah, Hannah so wants us to get together. I swear, <laughs> she's on hashtag Team Jill, and I, I'm all for that. So, anyway, I didn't know. I didn't know the the Viper was a date either. Now I found out. Anyway, so, <laughs> so first date, right? That's just I, it's a, I guess it's the first date. I, how many? How many have we had? Anyway, so, uh, so anyway, uh, we should we should we should make out one of these dates. But uh, anyway, so. You, one of our friends. Black lipstick, please. No, not tonight, but some other night. Um, no gothic kisses tonight. Not gothic kisses. Well, we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, well, speaking of gothic, 
<laughs> one of our friends who will be on the show soon, mm-hmm. should have been on the show already, Cleve Hall from Monster Man. Oh, yeah. Did, rubbed so your you rubbed all that silicone on your body. Yes. I made one of his dreams come true. <laughs> Especially removing the the, the stuff, you know, yes. the bathtub and stuff. So you know that was the. He got to rub you down the Are bathtub. Are talking about like liquid silicone, like pumping for you silicone? That was this kind of latex silicone that you mix with the paint and oh, it makes oh, this. Oh, oh, it's oh, kind oh, of monster oh, makeup. It, it, it kind of made it. You thought. Skin. I and thought you were talking about the underground ex- pumping party silicone. I was wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second, time, time, time out, Jill. What, what is the underground pumping party silicone? I got to hear what this is. The underground pumping party silicone. It was a legal plastic surgery mm-hmm. procedure once yeah. upon a time. Oh, okay. And then they outlawed it and it went underground. And okay. Before the technology existed for us to get things like fat transfer and stuff like that, mm-hmm. in order to get the lower body curves, the technology was silicone. And so plastic surgeons were selling it to medically trained people that they knew Mm -hmm. and selling them the surgical grade silicone so that you could still get it. Okay. And that's the way I did it. But a lot of people nowadays, and keep in mind, I did all of this way before fat transfer was even a thing. I didn't even know there was a thing. Yeah, they can lipo lipo and build your booty hips, the whole thing. Jeez, I need some booty hips, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that, I mean... That I did the pumping parties now mm-hmm. they use industrial grade from like Home Depot, yeah, they like automotive they're awful. grade, and there's all sorts of yeah. issues. Botch, you see it on there all yeah. the time. Right. My girlfriend, she has issues. She gets stuff like like around go and cut it out. So I didn't mean I didn't mean to sidebar, Jill. <laughs> this is silicone. Thank you, and Tommy X yes. for helping me to put all right. this stuff. On. Silicone to make it's you look grateful. like to make you look like a concrete. You were made out of concrete. is basically what I was yeah. trying to do. Yeah, but then I just couldn't move my face. Because you were interviewed by... That much, and then every time I was moving, it was marking my wrinkles deep. But you don't deep, have any wrinkles. Deep, I know, but you have to see me with that stuff on. Yeah. It was kind of sinking in and drying me up. No, was, like, was hard to get off? Yeah, that was the hardest part. There was a... I as, scrapped that shit out. You yeah. Know, just like, I was like kind of... Yeah. There, there was a, uh, a a steampunk guy that interviewed you with iPhone, and he he got really close up with you, and I could see like it was it was hard for you Did to you talk. Jealous? No, I wasn't jealous. I could have been there. I was at Nam with uh, with Hannah. I I wish I would. I'm interviewing I know now. You were jealous. You couldn't be there, and he was there. No, no, he got five minutes. I got you for the whole hour. <laughs> and he and you were all wrinkled up then. Now you look at the flawless skin that I got you now. <laughs> But, but I could see so like it was, how, yeah I could I could. See. <laughs> Nobody can see it. Huh? Nobody can see how you look. Um... No, they're looking at. I'm I'm filming you right now. Oh, they see right. how flawless <laughs> you are. Look at that. Oh, Here's a nice extreme close up. Look at that. That's Jill Love with her flawless skin, not silicone like on the on the steampunk guy's channel. So he's like, well, what's your name? Jill Love. He's like, no, Jill Love Revolution. <laughs> so he put on the he's interviewed the Jill Love Revolution. Mm-hmm. Like you, that's your whole name is Jill Love Revolution. It is. Now, why? Why? I, I didn't ask you last time. Why Jill Love? Why not Jordana Love? Because Jordana is uh, somebody's real name somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here as a Jill Love, so don't go anywhere else. Than okay. Here, so that's. But why? 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 Why Jill? This is my second name. Okay. Jordana uh, Jill. Yeah. J I L. It was. It was always. So I had two L's, and then I thought, Oh, why you need two? I can just have one. The second L is for love. No, actually, Jill, which I said last time I was here, and you forgot, stands for just in love. Jill, just in love. I listen to that show. You see that? Yeah. And that's me. Just in, just in love. love. Just in love. So, so how long did it take for the? I don't know they're laughing about something. <laughs> uh, they, they, I, I wish they bring it to the to the mic so everybody else well, can me? enjoy. Go ahead. We're say. giggling at you. At giggling you. at me for what? You're like a little cartoon, you know, with the little hard eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I was. I was. Tell, I was telling. Uh, I, was, I was telling uh, Hannah at, at Nam that uh, when, uh, when when I'm attracted to somebody, it's it's not hard to tell. 
Oh. Definitely not. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute though. It's cute. Anyway. <laughs> Blinking. Yeah. Well, is that what? No, I, I don't know what. I don't know what the, 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 the cue the theme music. <laughs> anyway, so uh, so how long did it take I'm for? Scared, man. <laughs> how long? I don't know what's going on. What? Well, how long did it take for the silicone to, to, to scrub that off? You and the silicone. <laughs> Why? You want to do it? Well, what, what do you want to talk? You want yeah, to talk he's about? Picking on you about well, that hour. At least he's not <laughs> for me with the so. No, I'm, 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 I'm coming, Jamie. Don't worry about it. So there is more than that in the story. So. Oh well, please, we'll tell the story. <laughs> um. Okay, you have to ask. I I got I got lost right now. Okay. Just ask something specific, which is not what you keep asking all the time. <laughs> you have a festival coming up in San Francisco. It's not happening again. <laughs> no. Okay. No. All right. So. Uh, did Hustler, but, did okay, Hustler take a lot of... something really amazing, which I'm really, really excited. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to go to the Oscars mm. this year, but I cannot make it yet. But I'm going to do the second one that all the people who cannot go to the Oscars mm -hmm. go to Roger Ooh. Neal's... The Night of a Hundred Scars? Oh. Yeah. So the tickets are like a thousand dollars, and somebody said, "Okay, I'll take you along." <gasps> so I'm really excited, that's and that's the closest to the Oscars, oh, that's you know. And Can't wait to see your outfit. Yeah, oh, yeah. I haven't even thought about it because you know, maybe a beautiful gold dress like an Oscar. Yeah. I know, but I had that last time yeah. too, so I don't know. I have to think about that. She's, she's got to think about my hair, my makeup, and blah 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 blah. You know. Okay, well, let me... I, I would rather go naked, which I don't have to spend any money on that. Right. Mm -hmm. just, yeah, right. but Gaga already did the meat dress. I mean, she did that? Yeah, she showed all the meat. So I can just go, you should go because I'm big and I can go with lettuce. I was joking. You should do she something like, like red and show the red. Right, like, like a lettuce grab. Yeah. Lettuce oh, grab. Are you vegan? The dress was gorgeous. Was Halle Berry's that idea. one year? <laughs> Maybe you can help. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would that would be really pretty. Like just to be like to show that you're vegan and such a, such yeah. a big thing now. Like beautiful lettuce wrap oh dress. That's a great idea. You know, kind of Grammys. Yeah, next weekend. that would like be awesome. Lettuce, uh, yeah. yeah, lettuce grab. Yeah, mm. it'd be beautiful. And then you know, you never know what could happen. I, I we've had some friends that have uh, worn extravagant dresses to Grammys, gotten on the red carpet, gotten a lot of attention. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's fabulous. There we go. Yeah. When, when did you I become really vegan? I thought you were gluten free. I didn't know you were vegan. Is this new? <laughs> gluten free. Well, if you're vegan, you're gluten free. Yeah, too. so it okay. goes together, you know. Agreed. Soy yeah. free and. Anyway, I. I soy free and too as well. Non GMO, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. it's the whole package. Right. Well, why am I off tonight, Hannah? What's going on? Am I you concentrating What's on the show going? tonight? What's the. You're just, you have a lot going on. You're going to be playing a show tonight. You got beautiful mm -hmm. ladies in the studio. Is that what it is? I'm intimidated by beautiful ladies. And no, if you're I want. vegan, you're not from Louisiana. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, but tell us, you, you've. Uh, is this something I can talk about? You uh, you uh, shot some headshots for a famous actor. I don't want to talk about that. You don't want to talk about What do you want to talk about? <laughs> you got so many things going on, and uh, you want to talk about any of it. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> I was going to talk about the wall. Talk about the wall. Mm. So, so Okay, well, so today I got an email from the editor. They're really happy. They're going to invite me over next week. Do they take a the Do they take a lot of pictures? Yeah, and I ask them, "Hey, can we edit them? Because you know, you're a woman. You will understand this. Mm -hmm. I'm a little uncomfortable about the position of my breast, which is asymmetrical." Mm. She said, "Well, there is something we can do. Um, you know, don't worry about just to. It's an easy fix. Yeah, you know? it's just tape." Don't worry wait, about wait. Tape. Yeah. No, it's Photoshop. Oh, no, well, no, 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 wait. Yeah, you don't even have to I gotta see these pictures because are, are your breasts that asymmetrical? That not. That's the point, silly. The that's the point. No, I understand the position. The most beautiful breasts ever. <laughs> but in this photo. Yes, I know. I've seen them, yes. Because the angles. And, yeah. 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 So one looks squeezed and, you know, looks ugly. I, I don't. I, I, I highly I doubt that, but. Yeah, and that's a part of the thing. You're squeezing through the wall. You're you're pushing through the wall. You're pushing through the suppression that Donald Trump has put uh, you into know, place. And if someone is just going to focus on that part of your body, not your message, fuck them. Well, 
Let's be honest, it isn't yeah. Hustler, so I, I think they might be. Some people might be. And not only that, but Donald Trump focuses on the pussy, too. Exactly. So it may as well be busting mm. through the wall. It's the right. only way he'll look at it. True. So let me, a- so let me ask you another uh, comedy question. Because okay. somebody else is getting a hard time, other than Louis C.K., who also did a joke about uh, school shootings, which mm-hmm. wasn't a great joke. But you know what? He's got the right to say it. I don't think. I, actually, I, I thought the school shooting joke was a little better. But <laughs> Kevin Hart can't get a break. He can't right now. <laughs> Poor Kevin Hart. Poor little Kevin Hart. Bless his little heart. He's a little pocket. 